non accredited lender programs they have to go through end of equivalency and certification process in order to practice dentistry in canada first i'll talk about bds people now endep is acronym for national dental examining board it conducts examination which you have to appear uh, they are called as a endep equivalency process it consists of three examination first is afk which is an assessment of fundamental knowledge followed by acj assessment of clinical judgment and ECS which is assessment of clinical skills so these three exam they make end up equivalency process so international dentists of non accredited dental programs they have to go through end up equivalency process once they finish their end up equivalency process by passing all these three exams they have to appear for end up certification process now canadian graduates who have completed their dds and dmd from canadian universities they also have to go through this end up certification process now end up certification process consists of oski and written examination so once you pass your end up certification process you are eligible to register yourself as a licensed dentist in any of the 10 provinces and three territories of canada now there is something called as a dental regulatory authorities which are designated in each provinces they are they govern they regulate the dental profession in each province like for example royal college of dental surgeon of ontario is the dental regulatory authority for the province of ontario in case you have to register yourself as a registered dentist in the province of ontario you have to give additional two examinations which are dental jurisprudence exam and ielts exam in order to register with royal college of dental surgeons of ontario once you do that you can practice dentistry anywhere in ontario this is for bds people now for mds people mds people have two options either they can go with the bds flow in which you have to first clear end up equivalency process followed by end up certification process and get their license to practice dentistry in canada or the second route if they want to register themselves as a specialist dental specialist in which they have done their mds now in order to do that you have to appear for exam called as a deski deski stand for dental specialty core knowledge examination if you pass that examination then you can appear for dental uh, dental specialty and assistant program in 3 to 4 different dental universities in universities which offer dental programs so if you get selected you have to do dental specialty and assessment training program for one year once you finish that program you can register yourself as a specialist dentist by completing by giving national dental specialty examination so then you will be registered as a specialist